with singing. Might as well read one more. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that has made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pastor. Read and please with verse 8. Psalm 51 verse 8. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. He says, hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. If you write in your Bibles, the brother Junior said, underline and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Listen carefully. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Amen. Okay. Now, you turn ahead, please. And we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 59. When you pass Psalms, you pass the Song of Solomon, then you go right into Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 59. Please remember, now before I read anything in Isaiah chapter 59, I'm going to go right back and show you something. Okay. Isaiah chapter 59. I read to you in 100. It says, Serve the Lord with gladness, Come before his presence with singing. Know you not that he, is, that, that he is God, that he made us, and we know ourselves, we are his people, we're his sheep, at Psalms 100. I read to you over in Psalm 51, Restore unto me the joy of our salvation. Now do you reckon there's something missing that in your salvation? Do you know what I read? It says, Renew my spirit, Lord, in Psalms 51. Now maybe, do you know what David was crying out to God? David was sin stricken. But he was a Christian. But David had sin in his life. Now, when you look at Psalms 59, let me read you. Let me read you three verses. 51, uh, chapter 59, 1, 2, 3. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither is your heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. He tells us in Psalms 100 to sing a joyful noise and give him praise. Okay? If we don't do that, then what's the problem? Let's go to Psalms 51. David said, Lord, don't hide your face from me. Will you please give me a new spirit? No. A renewed spirit. Uh, what's the matter one of God? Isaiah chapter 59 is what's the matter with what you've got. Your sins and your iniquities have blocked the blessings from Christ. Now, Randy, when we come into God's house and we want to come to worship, now, guys, listen, we'll come with good intentions. Y'all don't get me wrong on this. You say, well, Melvin, why are you, why are you cutting us to the bone like this? I don't question God. And if God gives me a message, and he's going to be preached. You know? And I don't know why he did this, but that's he does. But if you don't see it with your visible eyes, how do you think God sees his church with his spiritual eyes. Where is the joy? Where is the joy in our churches anymore, Better, You reckon it could be like David? That we're trying to live with too much world and we're trying to put uh, mix up the world with church? Hey, look, we're commanded to serve him with gladness and joyfulness. And you know, man, when we get to know how to, we need to know how we can serve the Lord with gladness. We need to know today how we can serve the Lord with gladness. And listen, how we stand, how, how is our composure, how, how are we reacting to the way life is. Now guys, listen. Better, again, I'll give you this morning for an example.
example. You can't live just for Jesus on Sunday. You can't come to church and lose your temper on Monday. You can, hey, look, and you can't gripe and fuss all during the week and come and think that you're going to have a good time in church on Sunday. You can't do that, Matt. It's not going to work. Right. Now, you can sit here and give me a counterfeit smile. Why don't we rely on the Lord for the joy of our salvation? Hey, look, if you are a called minister, oh, boy, if you are a called man of God, I don't have to worry about what somebody else or a commentator says. My great commentator is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And if you study to show yourself approved and you get down in God's book on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I guarantee you he's going to give you something on Sunday. That's how God uses people. There's Amen. joy in serving God. And the thing of it is, this is what bothers me. How we, as God's people, Randy, don't want everything that God can give us. Hey, look, the problems that we've got today, most of us brought on by ourselves. Amen. And, you know, we're burdened down a lot of times. Who burdens you? God didn't. You burden your own self down. Most of the time when we get in trouble, no all the time. When we get in trouble, Robert, the devil didn't make us. We got our own self in this problem. Yeah. Yeah. And then we go crying to God to get us out of it. Yeah. Hey, David said, please, God, I, well, hey, don't turn your back on me. Isaiah said, chapter 59, he does. Now, church door open. Yes. Are you a member of this church? Yes. You say, well, my name ain't on, ain't on the road. Don't worry about your name on the road. It's on God's road. Amen. Amen. Which makes you part of God's family. And then we need to understand this. Hey, hey, I'm, hey, I'm just saying, what's going on? What, what, what about this picture is your pastor not understanding? I want to give him more when I, I need him the most. Do you know when you're the healthiest and you feel the best? You need him just as much right now as you do when you're on deathbed. Right. Hey, we, hey, look, we need to get determined that I'm going to do this to the best of my ability, not just part way, but all the way. Okay. And even if you get up in the morning and you feel so down and so out, if you open up one eye, then open up the other one, take a big, deep breath and just think, that air I just took in, <coughs> come from God. Amen. Amen. He give me another breath. That means he's giving me another opportunity. And what he said, hey, praise me with every breath. That's why we come into God's take this out of context and say God made one thing bad. Amen. Me. <laughs> then he took care of that and he made me clean. No, he made man perfect. They're the ones that messed it up. But Randy, he made me perfect when I got saved. And do you know how hard I try every day to mess it up? Come on, give me the truth. We try every day to mess up what God gives us. Oh, Melvin, I don't. Yeah, you do. You mess up every day. Don't tell me you don't. Hey, listen. He said, hey, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth to all generations. Oh, Melvin committed himself to see it through. I'm not quitting now. Randy, I don't come way too far to turn back on a God as good as I've got. Then we first Oh.